Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can click the Manage button within the Data Model button group on the Power Pivot tab within the ribbon to open a separate visual instance of the workbook's data model that you can then manage in Excel. Now the ribbon that appears within the Power Pivot for Excel window has four tabs, File, Home, Design, and Advanced. Now below that is the formula bar within the data model. Now below the formula bar is the data view of the tables within the data model. In a separate pane below the data area is the calculation area. Below the calculation area you can see the names of the various tables within the data model displayed as tabs. You can click these tabs to switch between the tables within the data model. A record set navigator is displayed for the currently selected table at the bottom of the window. You can click the buttons within the navigator to move back and forth through the records within the selected table. In addition to the data view of the data model, you can also view the diagram view of the data model by clicking the diagram view button that appears within the View button group on the Home tab of the ribbon within the Data Model window. This view allows you to see the tables in the data model as diagrams that display the links or relationships between fields within the tables. You can also create relationships between tables by simply clicking and dragging a field from one table and then dropping it on the related field within another table. You can also right click on the relationship lines shown between two fields and then choose the Edit Relationship command to open the Edit Relationship window if needed. You can also right click on a relationship line and then choose the delete command from the pop-up menu to delete a selected relationship from the data model. Note that you will need to click the delete from model button in the confirmation dialog box that appears to delete the relationship if needed. You can click the data view button within the view button group in the ribbon again to toggle the view back to the data view when you are finished. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.